the night before November 4th, and something felt quite strange. Indeed, a buzz floated in the air. T'was a feeling of change. No progress for the last eight years, and many could be blamed. But better to place hope in the skinny kid with a funny name. Too much excitement hung in the room. No one could fall asleep, especially Elena lying in her bed, because she had work in the morning and thought the whole thing was stupid anyway. Does he even rhyme? And this is not stupid! So it was a bit like Christmas Eve waiting for Santa Claus, though these Jews did not know much about St. Nick and chimneys. Pause. Eric said that he might cry either for the country or the man, or cause Jeff would not stop singing that same song by Will I Am. Yes we can, yes we can. Is that the only part that you know? No, it's the only part I like. Yes we can, yes. Playing Jim Jones charades had put them in a rut. Time would pass much faster if BET still aired uncut. Three times they picked up robocalls then hung up on that shit. Turns out that it was Kanye and his so-so T-Pain bit. The lines would be long tomorrow and the minutes long tonight. The microwave still read 10 p.m., but that could not be right. Jeff claimed the clock stopped. Eric thought that wasn't funny. He was counting down the seconds till independence from Arab money. But instead of counting chickens too far in advance, the boys got up just in case and practiced Busta's dance. Wake up, boys! The day for hope and belief is really here! Progress beyond divisiveness! Let's end gun talk and fear! Finally, on November 4th, the day they would never miss, they stood up, sat down, and got online. All to buy Q-Tip's new compact disc.